top. Meerkats do very well in captivity. I think that's why they're very popular. And as long as they've got a decent sized enclosure, the right sort of food and compatible animals together, then they normally do really well. It's quite a traditional enclosure. It's really good for the meerkats. And with our enclosure wall being so low, the visitors get to get very close to them, not within touching distance because they've got teeth. We have eight meerkats in our group at the moment, but eight to 12 is a good size for that enclosure. They're a breeding group. They're the dominant pair, so that's the only two that will breed in the group. And she normally breeds once or twice a year, so the group always builds up. This pair have actually been together for about two years now. Now it's her first time in a breeding situation. We have three baby meerkats at the moment. Litter size is anywhere from one to five, with three being a good average. Baby meerkats were born just over a month ago now. They're kept in a nest box by the parents when they're very small. And as soon as they start to wander around, they get taken outside by the rest of the group after about a month old. When a baby's born, it's the most dominant animal. And that ensures that it gets the pick of the food. It ensures their survival, really. A couple of them got tendencies to jump out. Because we've got their diet right down to a T now, they're a lot fitter. And so they can jump and they can climb really well. It's normally the younger ones that are able to get out easier than the rest. I think once the, the adults get a bit older and get their love handles, it's not so easy for them to get out. So it's usually the juveniles. And when they jump out and run off, we know it's their time to go. So we'll catch them up um, and then we'll send them on somewhere else. Sentry duty is quite an important part for a meerkat. A lot of people see meerkats up looking around. Um, they do that in the wild, they do it here as well. You can almost guarantee when you walk past the enclosure, you'll see a meerkat up on sentry duty, looking around, just checking for predators. Uh, if they see anything like that, they'll do a warning call and all the meerkats will scatter back in, indoors where it's safe. As with all animals, they have different personalities and I think some of them just get fed up with it. And they must communicate because I've seen it before where one will be up there and suddenly another one will climb up the branch and they'd swap over and the other one will run on. But they can be up there for an hour or so, which is quite a long time to be sat there looking up at the sky. They will stay up there no matter what because it's, it's their job and that's what they've evolved to do really. That's how they survive so long in the wild. Meerkats have been known to live till about 15 or so in captivity. They live in a, quite a complex family group. They need to build up the, the bond within the family. They need to learn the different skills, the right foods to eat, how to kill snakes, that kind of thing. So if an animal like a meerkat only lived for a year, two years, it's kind of a waste. And so by the time they've reached the end of their days, they've passed on their knowledge to all the other meerkats in the group and it kind of continues. It's the circle of life, as they say.